Hello, Samuel. Hey, Yi, how are you? I'm fine. How about you? Doing good, doing good. I'd like to keep the meeting short today if possible, but we'll see how long it takes. Okay. I think I'm waiting on a few more people to join from our side. Let me check on them. Okay. Hi, Shui. Hi, Feman. Hi, Yi. Hi, Yi. Hi, Samir. Shui. Good day. Good day, good day. Hi, Samir. Do you have any guys from your team to join KubeCon? Yeah, I'm checking. I think today uh, being a uh, festival, a uh, uh, few people may not be joining for that. And a few are on vacation as well. It's after office hours. So let me just check to be sure. So today is your uh, uh, festival in your country. Yeah, it, yes. In India, this is a big festival today. Uh, but I think okay. uh, everybody is following the uh, US calendar, so <laughs> working through the day. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think some people who celebrate are celebrating it. Um, Uh, will Rakesh join this meeting? Let me check. I don't think so. Status is something he's checked out. Let me check. Joining. Rakesh is coming. Uh, yeah, he's here now. Oh, I see. He's here. Hello. Hey, Rakesh. Hello. Hi, Rakesh. I Hello. think we can start. Vani said that she has a conflict. She will be running late. Uh, Pritish is on vacation. I think we can start from uh, our side. Okay. Uh... Uh, okay, I, I think we can start. I have listed several items. The first item is uh, to work through the current PRs. Uh, maybe uh, I can share my screen. It's easy for discussion. I'm taking a quick note for today's attendees. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yes, my screen, the page. I can see it. Yes, I can see it. Uh, okay. Uh, I just checked the first PR is uh, Rakesh already approved it, so we can skip it. Uh, uh, by the way, this list is from the uh pinned uh, message list uh, in the PR review channel uh let me check the second one uh the second one uh rakesh uh did you spend some time on this PR or not yet uh not yet uh, it looks like pritesh commented on this uh, i think i think there was some uh, back and forth conversation on this. Um, I need to go through that um, conversation and uh, reply to this. Um, if you see Pritesh's comment here on E88, uh, there is uh, some discussion on it already. I need to catch up on that and then I will reply. Okay, great, thanks. Uh, by the way, when will Pritesh come back? Um... Do you know? <laughs> I do not know. Samir, do you know? Oh, okay. uh, I think he's uh, working next from next week onwards. He's on vacation this week, but working next week onwards. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, great. So, uh, Rakesh, if you can spend some time this week, that will be great. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is this. Yeah. Let me uh, this one. Uh, 
Should we provide your comments? Um, yeah, I think I already looked into this. I need to um, review the new revision. Mm -hmm. um, I think okay. she also looked into this one. Um, but yeah, this is okay. on my radar as well. I will um, review this again. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Uh, feel free to ping us uh, in the Slack if you uh, need some further clarification or discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, let me close this one. Uh, this one. Yeah, it's about the envelope type. Uh, I see that Rakash, you have updated that uh, plugin spec, right? And you also uh, propose uh, a solution. Uh, I'm not sure whether it is this. It is this. Yeah, no. Uh, I think it is uh, in another issue, right? Yeah, I can paste that issue link uh, to our chat box. Okay, thank you. Let me open it. Okay, how can I switch to switch to the chat box while I was sharing? I added. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I found it. Okay, uh, this is the solution that uh, Rakesh you mentioned in this. Uh, this is the PR, right? And uh, yeah. after. Um, I, so in the proposal, um, I mentioned how we are solving that problem. Um, I think the PR we have already is implementing some of this proposal. Um, I saw um, Jay's um, comment on it. I will reply to that. Uh, okay. I have some thoughts uh, I, on that PR. I will reply. Yeah, I think this PR is for solution one. And uh, Jay, yeah, Jay replied to you. Please check the comments. Yep. Uh, and back to this solution, I think. Uh, for the for the plugin side, since this spec is, uh, I think it was updated, right? So so who will uh, be responsible to implement the changes according to the? Oh, the the plugin spec um, already supports passing the error back to notation, uh, so there is no work there. Um, the okay. only PR from J is the pending work here, uh, which okay, um, great. I will look at. Yeah, this one. Okay, great. Thanks. Uh, then I can close this one. Uh, this is about the test framework. Uh, and this PR is what's uh, already uh, a long time pending here. So uh, I'm not sure whether uh, Rakesh, you will also check this, uh, but this is the test framework. So uh, I, I don't think this PR requires uh, a, a review uh, from another organization if you are really busy with other uh, work. Uh, what is this PR implementing again? This is to establish this end-to-end -end test for framework for notation from the CLI point of view. Um, I see. Okay, let yeah, me so, quickly go hmm. through this once. Um, there is one more engineer uh, looking into PRs from my team. Um, I can pass this to um, that engineer. Okay, I will paste the link in the chat. Uh, okay. Uh, then I think uh, we are done on the PR list. Uh, and we all already addressed the, the second one uh, for the plugin spec. Uh, there's no work left. Uh, uh, Shirley, anything else from your side uh, regarding to the PR review? Uh, nope. Uh, by the way, uh, for the end-to-end -end test, we are not in a hurry. Yeah. yeah. 
yeah, this, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, low priority comparing to the others. Okay, let's continue. Uh, <clears throat> the next item is the call for the RC1 release. Uh, because we, we, we have a target date, right? Uh, in the middle of November. Uh, I, I didn't join the last meeting, but uh, according to the uh, meeting notes and also according to the conversation between uh, Wadi and uh, me, uh, we planned the RC1 date is uh, November, the November the 15th. Yeah, uh, but correct. still there, yeah, yeah. But still there are some items we need to, uh, to pay attention. Uh, the okay. first one is that uh, uh, we didn't, uh, I created an issue for the notation to support OCI artifacts, but uh, that issue uh, was not included in any milestone yet. Uh, but uh, according to the plan for the ORASCO project, uh, the RC4 release uh, is planned by end of this month, which will support OCI artifacts. Since notation, uh, Go library will use uh, Aura's Go library. So I'm thinking that uh, uh, maybe we, we can have an open discussion to see whether we need to consider notation RC1 supporting OCI artifacts as well. We should, I think, um, let me speak from, from my personal opinion, we should. Uh, maybe not on October 31st, because that's the date we are planning for beta one. Let's get beta one out. And soon after we can bring this check in, uh, Maybe on November first, November second, as soon as beta one is done, we bring this in. Mm. Will be my recommendation. Okay, this date is not uh, for the notation. This date is uh, the ORS Go library. No, I get that. I get that. But on October thirty first or thereabout, we are planning our beta. We are planning notations beta one as well, right? So uh, yeah. yeah. So on October thirty one, let's release beta. Let's let's release beta one. And then we merge in, or we then we check if ORAS has released RC4. If ORAS has released RC4 on October 31st, as as discussed here, let's bring it into our main line, and then do a weekly build soon after with that. Okay, maybe there are some interaction work or some other stuff. Needed. Oh, you expect that? But, I was yeah. thinking that there'll be no changes to our. It will be a drop in. Uh. Uh, seriously, uh, I think you are right. Uh, yeah, but but let's see uh, because it, this is a huge, huge changes uh, in the Orasco side. Uh, we uh, I think once we uh, bump up the Orasco version, we we definitely need to do some testing, right? Uh, yes, we need to do, do some testing, and yes. the refer API are different from uh, the Oras uh, uh, refer API and the, the OC refer API. Uh, for example, uh, that is in Oras refer API, we don't return the annotations, but in the OC refer API, we return annotations. So the performance are different. Uh, to improve 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 the performance, we also need to uh, modify some code at the client side. Uh, that yet we need to modify some code in the notation go. Otherwise, we will have uh, lower performance. Uh, so, so hang on. So I have a question on there, Shiva. So good, good catch. We should do that. I was wondering, is this a will this be a backward compatible change if we do it in the future? I don't want to add more work uh, to uh, all of our plates. I was wondering if if we can do that later. Uh, yes, we can do it later after the beta one. We can do that later after beta one, but we have to do it in RC one. Is, is is my question, or we can even do it after RC one? No, uh, uh, I don't think it's uh, good to do after RC one, uh, because actually I'm proposing a, a code refactoring uh, before uh, RC one. Oh, you're proposing a code refactoring? Uh, okay, we like to. Okay, let's take that as an action item. So before RC one, but you have bandwidth to work on this, uh, or this is not going to delay our 11.15 date is what I'm concerned about. Uh, so uh, it, it, it depends on our review, a uh, code review speed, <laughs> actually. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Uh, 
Okay, uh, let me ask one more question on this one. So you said you ha we have to bring in those annotation changes to improve the performance, but if it's performance improvement, it can even come in RC2, right? What prevents, what stops us? Will it be a breaking change if it comes in RC2 versus an RC1? Uh, so there will be API uh, changes. So there are breaking changes. Uh, because we are introducing RC versions, uh, it is better to do uh, less uh, breaking changes as, uh, as less as, as possible. I mean, as few as possible. Otherwise, uh, we will have unstable RC releases. No, I, I don't want that either. I'm just trying to understand it a little bit more. Uh, okay, I think once you put a PR up for it, let's review the PR and then we can make a decision on it. I am supportive of the idea, but I just don't want to affect the date. So I want to see data that what are the pros and cons. So once you create the PR, we can review it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Ray. I think the refactoring also related to the second one. Uh, we have this uh, uh, issue for RC1 to support the debug option and the support also uh, will happen in the notation Go library. So this also requires some refactoring work in order to support the debug option. And oh. as Shreem, as Shreem mentioned, there will be a proposal. I think that proposal will cover both uh, the support of the debug option and also the support for this uh, uh, OCI artifact referral API performance changes. I see it will include both of them. Hmm. Well, uh, Rakesh, what are your thoughts? Have you had an early look at this proposal for either one of them? Or it's, you haven't? The proposal is not ready yet. Oh, it's not ready, okay. Uh, yeah, so I, I think uh, Shiwei's team will uh, send it out uh, late this week and we can we can pin you in, in the Slack channel. So will the debug option be a will also be a breaking change if it's not done in RC one? Will it be also be a breaking change? Uh, yes, it will. Uh, if you look at the third one, the signing workflow is not fully compliant with spec. So uh, anyway, we need to uh, refactor the uh, notation go. Um, uh, for example, um, uh, f uh, the signing workflow uh, is currently uh, uh, is not implementing the current spec. And also for the verification pass, uh, the verifier is not uh, implementing the uh, the notation verifier interface. Uh, so we need to make sure that the APIs are uh, compliant and consistent, and they are uh, implementing some interfaces or the interface should be changed. Is there a PR or issue on, on those two? Or, or on the last, the last two things you said for the third bullet? Uh, no, uh, because it's uh, based on the refactoring. So uh, we will provide the uh, related design PR uh, at the end of this week. Uh, can we discuss like what what part of the spec is not implemented in the signer and verifier um, workflows today? It is not okay. clear to me. I think if we have uh, anything written up in a in a submission, I think I would like to read that. Um, so if you look at the signing flow, you will see that we are still uh, passing some identity that is not in the uh, spec, but in the original alpha one uh, to the to the signer payload, and uh, you will see that the, all the high level. Uh, signing uh, process are done in the notation CI instead of notation Go, but for the uh, verification, they're all done in the no uh, in the notation Go, so they are they are not consistent. Uh, and now uh, for for the verification, uh, if you see uh, in the notation Go, there's a notation package. And the, in the notation package, it defines the uh, the interface for the signer and the verifier. Uh, you will see that uh, the signer inter implementation matches the signer interface, but for the verifier, it does not uh, match the verifier interface. I so, see. So, so if we release them in the RC one, then 
uh, the developers are who are using the uh, notation Go will be confused because those implementation and interface are not compatible. Yeah, I think I, I think that makes sense. Uh, there may be some refactoring work needed on the notation Go. Um, can we create a same issue for tracking all the um, refactoring work? Uh, if we don't have one already, um, I think there is another thing uh, related to envelope type. Uh, um, like we can change that name to to make it more user friendly. I think there are a few um, items for refactoring. I think we can track all of them at at one place. Uh, uh, maybe we, we 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 can create a refactoring issue, and under that issue, we list the, the tasks we want what we want to do sure uh yes so e, uh, let's do this after this uh this meeting okay yeah, yeah. and and we can uh uh add a request for comment for for the task list and they can also uh receive a early uh early view on this refactoring work and provide early or comment okay uh we will create an issue uh, and also on the debug flag, um, can we include that flag um, right now in the CLI and incrementally improve the output from the command? That wouldn't be backward incompatible, right? Um, it's it's doable. Go ahead. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it's really uh, it's doable if we add it first in the spec. Then we add into the implementation, like uh, just adding a flag, but it, it won't print any useful debug information. But it's okay. Uh, I think some uh, of the is this related to a particular subcommand, or is this for all subcommands? Uh, I think this debug option is required for all sub commands. I mean, all the commands. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to be useful useful for list commands, for example. Uh, because the list notation list uh, uh, does some remote uh, call. Uh, so it's better to have debug option to print out the uh, outgoing requests and the, the responses. Especially the URI and the, the, uh, the status code and headers. Um, you mean the metadata of the request itself? Uh, yes. I see. Mm -hmm. That's the debug information, right? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah I, th I think uh, it depends on how we are taking uh, the meaning of debug flag here, right? For some of the comma, um, some of the utilities I've seen, the debug um, flag just enables looking get more data from the uh, command output. Uh, for some debugging purposes, but it won't show like a remote, uh, the metadata associated with the remote calls. Uh, those can be seen in the network monitor that is usually present in the systems, um, not within the command itself. Uh, if we are talking about debug flag for all sub commands, maybe that is a lot of work. I'm not sure if, not sure if we will be able to come up with a spec and implement it in, within um, RC1 time frame. I think we can add debug flag later uh, because that will be a um, feature addition, right? Um, I think that should be fine. Hang on. So I am with uh, Rakesh on that one. My thought is uh, debug. the reason we created debug was if the signature verification fails. So somebody can say, oh, why did the signature verification fail? Let me understand a little bit more. So that was a use case for debug. The other use case, as I recollect, for debug was, hey, I want to inspect the signature. So if I turn on dash debug on, I can just see the what was what was what was in the signature, all of it. 
as well. So knowing those two use cases, I agree with Pratish, we don't have to do the debug of the remote call itself, but whatever is available to the notary client locally. Yeah, that would be my expectation as well from this flag. Um, um, any reason we want to get this done in RC1? I, I feel like uh, we can uh, support debug flags later. Like we can keep the command as is today, uh, which provides um, some level of detail in the response. And um, after RC1, we can add debug functionality where it will provide more data. I, I think so Bilin was keen about this one, Rakesh. Uh, his thought was that when people start using it and they come to us for helping them uh, debug what's going on, this output will help us deep dive into what's going on. Why is the tool coming in saying so they can we can help them quickly? Otherwise, it will be a lot of back and forth to support so a user. Um, I... So currently the major comments that will be used by customers are sign and verify comments, right? Correct. Uh, are they missing any uh, details today uh, that would make users not able to debug? Yeah, like I said, if say the debug fails, uh, or sorry, the signature uh, verification fails, what output is available for somebody to fully understand what was in the signature, why it failed? Was the was the was the was the signature not present? Was the path incorrect? Was the like just more details on the how the different uh, parts of the verification logic were followed? Um, I think we are already providing um, the error messages. I think the debug flag here would be more useful to get more details of the signature itself. Um, I don't know if that is a hard requirement for RC1. I feel like it can be done after RC1. Okay, so let's take an action item on this one that we will revisit it once we have the plan to see how much scope the work is. Then let's make a call on that one. So you're saying have the CLI command support the dash debug, but we can add the actual logic later and go with what we have. Um, if uh, If we... So if it requires a lot of work to modify notation go, maybe um, uh, we can't do that before RC1, uh, in which case I don't think uh, adding debug flag today adds any value. Um, so we can go as is with what we have today and add debug up later as a new feature. To, uh, notation CLI. Anybody? Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I, I think. Uh, go ahead. I, I, I yeah. will have later. Okay. I, I think maybe uh, the first thing we can do is we, we have a one issue uh, for this debug option, right? So maybe uh, Rakesh or we can work together to break down those issues to list the uh, more concrete tasks, then we can make a decision which part should be in RC1, which part we can do it later. Uh, another thing is that if there is a need to do something in the library to make this library more extendable, so so of course we, we can do it uh, after RC1, but I'm worried about whether it could cause some uh, breaking changes uh, from the uh, API level from the library level if we do it later. Okay, let's investigate what could be a breaking change first. I think let's just narrow the scope to identify why it cannot be a, a change in RC2, what's breaking about it if it comes in RC2, and then we can make a decision. Uh, mm. Anyway, uh, we will, uh, we need to achieve the similar uh, um, thing uh, 
in the dot and go because uh, for the verification uh, uh, for the trust policy, we have an enforcement called locked. Uh, for example, uh, I think in the audit level, uh, for all the validations, we are all logging the results. So uh, anyway, we needed the log functionality in the notation Go. Before I see one. I see what you're saying. I wish Melin was here to express more details on it. Okay, let's not make a decision to include it in RC1 or not. Let's plan to include it. And then based on the scope of work, we can decide to punt it or not. Let's keep working on scoping it and um, plan to include it. If the, but if the work is too much and we want to hold the date, then we can make a decision. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sounds good. Yeah, yeah, sounds good for me. I think we can work on that uh, issue to break down and also including what we just discussed, whether it is uh, uh, whether some logs from the local side of the notation or whether we, we also consider this the remote core logs, we, we can uh, make make uh, those uh, clear uh, under this issue. Yeah. Yeah, feel free to go back and look at the issue which we created, which drove all this. I, I did not explicitly request doing the remote uh, logging capture as well, so we don't have to do that. Yeah. Okay, let's move to the next one then. Uh, this one already addressed. Uh, I think no. the, this... Uh... Sorry, sorry, on that one, I think what Rakesh requested, let's create an issue so that we can quickly see what's broken, and then we can prioritize this ahead of everything yeah. else. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you will yes. create an issue or somebody will create an issue on this one? Yeah, we, we will create a issue uh, Yeah, to include this one. Thank you. We will create it, yeah. Uh, the next one, uh, this issue, actually this is related to the, the last uh, item. Uh, maybe this item uh, was added by David. Uh, this is uh, the support for the, for the ratify work. Oh, those are the same things? Okay, yeah, let's talk about that. Uh, let's talk about that, yeah. If they're the same yeah. thing. Do you wanna click on yeah, that issue? Because I didn't read that yeah. issue, everybody's benefit. If you click this issue, uh, this issue is in ratify, and then scroll down. Eric created this issue in notation go. And oh. this issue was discussed the last time, uh, initially, we we thought there will be some refactoring work, uh, as Pradesh mentioned. But later, Rakesh uh, had a proposal, um, but that proposal seems not uh, working. Or from the user point of view, from the interface point of view, uh, Bing Bing provided some comments. Then Rakesh replied. And here we, we yeah the we also had I don't know if you I don't know if you also saw but we had the Caverno team was basically asking to do the same thing that Ratify is doing. So I pointed them to this issue, um, and I'm supposed to be meeting up with them sometime this week at KubeCon to get their thoughts. But they're also trying to they were having struggles trying to figure out how do I use Notation Go to just do verification for local like signatures, um, and they they hit some errors. But yeah, it's. This is a not. I think it's this. This kind of challenge is not a going to be unique to ratify per se. Uh, yes, and also uh, I think it's it's secure to sign and verify locally. Uh, currently, the work, the signing workflow requires a remote registry, and this registry can be uh, malicious. And if the remote registry is malicious, then then we are doomed. Can somebody describe what the problem we have run into? I'm I'm reading it. I'm not getting it uh, completely. So I know we have to move Ratify to the new Notation Go library, which uses Trust Store and Trust Policy. Our Trust Store, Trust Policy Verify requires an interface to repository. So why is that a challenge? Notation Go already includes the 
talking to a repository any which way it includes the ORAS library. So where is the challenge? I am not getting it. Uh, do we have um, anyone who knows about ratify how it works? David does. David is here. So at a high level, yeah, the uh, did ratify is taking a dependency on notation go. It was using the notation goes alpha one verification scheme, Rakesh, where all the certs are present in a file, and um, but now we have to change it to go to trust store and trust policy. That's what I knew about. This seems to be a different problem to me, where we are saying. We need to create a local repository interface and ratify. So I'm not understanding what's going on here. So it looks like in ratify's workflow, they first fetch the uh, signature from the registry and then invoke um, notation for verifying it. Um, so they don't want notation to directly talk to the registry to get signatures because Ratify already has those signatures. So here the ask is to uh, support verifying prefetched signatures in notation. And that's the conversation in this um, issue. Um, Yee, uh, what is the ask here? Um, there is a conversation already going on in the issue, right? Uh, what do we want to discuss here? Uh, you mean for this issue? Mm -hmm. uh, this issue actually, as you just uh, described the background, uh, because previously we, we have that interface, uh, user can verify the signature, but now uh, user need to interact uh, with this uh, registry, right? And the uh, notation, actually notation, uh, the uh, notation currently does more work in order to verify the signature. Like you uh, just mentioned, the pool the signature, but the ratify uh, doesn't need that. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, my comment um, provides a path of a ratify to um, like um, work with prefetched signatures. Um, is there any um, like um, problem with that approach? Um, I did not see. Uh, I reply to my comment. Um, uh, so in your comment, you are suggesting to implement a, a local repository to match the repository interface so it can be served to the uh, verify function. Mm -hmm. So uh, you also mentioned that it will be like 30 to 40 lines of code. Uh, but there's a problem of the uh, API usability. So it's not just the ratify. There are many other applications are invoking notation Go, and they also need to write those 30 to 40 lines. And those lines are just coding. And uh, to ensure quality, we also need to do some unit testing. That's a lot of code. Uh, it may be more than 100 code to, uh, to just for this one. And uh, uh, it takes more time. And the people, uh, is think may think it's a hack and it needs some examples tutorials and makes the notation go uh, hard to use um what is the proposal here um can someone add a comment there with the alternative uh i'm not sure about others but my is that to uh, reflect the code to make the API uh, more user friendly and to be easy to use? Okay, uh, yeah, we can take a look at the proposal uh, once it is ready. We can debate on that proposal and and then go to implementation. That works. Yeah, one one of the proposals was uh, in there proposed by Eric, which was the process signature. Looks like it's very similar but that's private so that that's one of the proposals yeah rakesh i just pasted it in the chat from that paragraph the last paragraph in that proposal is the same thing which is shown on screen where if you want to read it first uh, process signature is a private method 
that can't be accessed outside notation go. Um, um, if we um, if we expose that function, then the callers need to provide more than just the signature that needs to be verified um, because signature also contains its associated metadata, right? Annotations is one thing that comes to my mind right away. Um, those things also need to be provided by the caller. I don't think we can simply expose um, proce uh, process signature method outside. Uh, that's why I, uh, I'm asking for an alternative, um, 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 like how callers would be um, um, using notation go to like verify prefetched signatures. Uh, if someone can add a comment to this issue uh, and expand on the proposal, um, then we can debate on that. Yeah, I think later, maybe Shirwe, uh, you or your team can uh, provide a, a solution. Uh, and maybe similar like Pitesh previously mentioned here, we, we can add a comment here, then then can we, we can review it. Uh, sure. So uh, I, uh, at the end of this week, uh, we will have a, a refactoring uh, a proposal for refactoring code in the notation Go. And uh, uh, after that, we can discuss the uh, refactoring, and that refactoring will cover a lot of stuff like the, uh, like this one, uh, the the verification API protocol, and uh, and the debug stuffs, uh, signing stuffs, and other stuffs. Yeah. Okay, so on the verifier, while we're staying staying on verify and verify, the issue I wanted to discuss. This is a new issue, by the way, for in my mental model, the issue I wanted to discuss was how can Ratify change their ways to use trust store and trust policy that is used by our verifier function. So uh, the question I'm about to ask is related to the to, to reworking Ratify or notation. If you want Verify to work whichever way you come up with Chiwe, would you like to propose how trust tour and trust policy should also be configured differently? I'm trying to see as to what all this is a. Well, so that's a, I mean, those are, I mean, it definitely should be factored in because we know we need to have trust tour and trust policy moving forward, yeah. but it still doesn't, it's still, that's a, that's a related challenge, but not the same thing as this. But yeah, I, I do think those things should be together because right, because the, the trust store trust policy is here to stay. Um, so even even Ratify needs to continue to use the trust store trust policy. Um, we just want to have that there with just being able to send the the signature that it already knows about um, without having to, you know, call call the registry. Thanks, David. I think that helps. That helps me see that we have been working on this for some time. And so are we not maybe? We just need to communicate to people who take dependency on notation libraries that if you take dependency on notation libraries, notation expects these things, which is notation will go pull the from the repository directly. Notation needs access to trust store and trust policy. Is that the miss, or you are saying we need to let people just directly call with a prefetch signature and a prefetch trust store? Even at that point, you might they might even say here's a trust store to use even like. I'm just trying to see where is these requirements coming from. Uh, we can do both. <laughs> we can do both. Okay. Yeah, because because as we have more people that want to, you know, because enforce policy based on the signatures, this is I think going to be a common kind of theme, right? Um, they're gonna, they're going to have, if, especially on Kubernetes, they're going to have, you know, some. Um, the the artifact already local on the cluster, um, and they can get that metadata um, there, and they need to just give a pass fail type of thing, right? Um, and when you're doing it in bulk with 
uh, high volume, then it starts to be performance problems if you're just querying back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I agree, but then by the same token, somebody can say, oh, I've configured a trust store here. Notation, don't create your own trust store or trust policy, just point it here because it's already present on the cluster here for a different purpose because trust stores, are not, it's not a new concept for EKS clusters, right? They have other reasons for have to have trust stores as well. Yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, no, 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 it's totally cool to have the local trust store. Um, but that's understandable. It's just, I think okay. we're just, yeah. Yeah, I think among everything I have just because these two are big for me. I think they changed my mental model, so I've learned something new. So I'd love to see some more data here uh, on how we can proceed it and still hold our RC1 date. Okay. I, think anyone, I know it's not on the list, but I think we're through most things. Has has Have uh, you looked at, Samir, the notation setup action at all yet or no? Not yet, not yet. Still behind on that. Um, Is there any objections to it, or you're not going to know till you look at it? Not going to do look at look at it. And I think Milan and Rakesh are probably a better judge of what's in there. But we are having their time go on reviewing the PRs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's it has to be that it's just behind on the priority order at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Um. So how do we influence Ratify at this point, David? Like uh, for Ratify to, to, to start working on using trust tool and trust policy, how do we influence hey, we, we, I think we should wait for what Shiwei's team's, uh, Shiwei or Shiwei's team's proposal is for the refactoring and figure this out, um, come to an agreement and then we can move forward. Okay. Can I play a hypothetical scenario with you? Let's let me see if that if that let's say Shiva and his team come back and we implement the proposal by the end of the week itself, right? Like by the end of this month, we have the proposal agreed, implemented. Yep. Okay. And then will Ratify be able to change their way by 11.15 so that come 11.15, Ratify is also ready to use trust through interest policy or or not? Uh, it's possible. I mean, the other, the other, the other thing that's going on here too is the OCI changes, and so I think it's a timing thing, right? So the OCI spec um, is a cascading thing as well, um, but we could do it in a tiered tiered approach. There, um, we just you wouldn't want to because because it, it's another it's another change, right? Um, for for ratify uh, it. It's gonna, uh, yeah, it's gonna change the way things work there too. So, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. I'm just, I'm trying to see if, like, like, because I wasn't attending Redify meetings. I think among us, you or she may have been attending Redify meetings. So, yeah, and, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think we should. We need to flush the out the timing though, um, with the OCI artifact stuff, um, because that, yeah, that it, that that changes. A lot of different things. Um, Could you fill us in as to what with the OCI artifact? I, the last I saw that the release candidates were there. We are just waiting on approvers to approve the release candidate. What am I missing? What's what's new in the OCI artifacts? Well, so well, so that's going to impact notation, right? And then it's and then because that then then impacts ratify because rat, ratify uses notation. So it's a it's a chain, right? But what is changing there? As I understood from our first bullet under RC1 callout, when on October 31st, when ORAS Go supports the OCI artifacts, we will just absorb it with some refactoring. So is there some spec changes happening in OCI artifacts? Is that what you're alluding to? Yeah, there are, there are spec changes that relate to the refer type and the way signatures are, which impacts notations, then indirectly or and impacts ratify right but i mean ideally i would i think it would be great to have have all of that done in one in one shot right like we we get this we, we get this proposal for the local that one we just covered we get the oci support in there and then ratify just has a one-time operation to update and then that's it you understood. Know? understood yeah lots of moving pieces now we have to un closely Pick them apart. Okay, I think uh, 
Let's ask whoever put that verify step. Are, do, are we clear on what the next step is? I guess, Shiva, your team is taking this next step to come back with a proposal to Rakesh's count proposal. Uh, uh, Shiva, are they there? Uh, I think from my side, uh, Shiva's team will pro uh, provide a proposal for the refractory. And this refactoring will cover, uh, if I understand correct, the debug option, uh, the using verifier without a repository, uh, and also the OCI artifacts related. And we can review yes. that proposal. And and the, for for this debug option, it seems we we also need to consider some different debug levels, but we, we can debate and decide which information we, we needed to include. Firstly, we, we, which in information we can add later. So there will be some some more uh, discussion uh, or breakdown tasks under this debug uh, issue. And there will be another uh, refactoring proposal cover the other items. Okay. Yeah, I would. Yeah, and I and I would just say, yeah, if if we can say, say do a debug light uh, for that shortens the development time, uh, that would you know so that way we can get all the other changes in. That would be good. And then if we you know I don't know if that's even reasonably possible, but in terms of the refactoring, but like I know it was three weeks uh, dev dev estimation, but if the refactoring can be done in such a way that you maybe let's say use one of the three weeks and 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 have a plan um go let's say go go rc1 and then you know add more debugging in rc2 um and then those two i'm just going theoretical right but then those two weeks of time be used to like get the actual other pieces here put in the oci the 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 refactoring signing workflow um thanks right yes i agree with that i think oci artifact is a big change we need to put attention to that um okay yeah and the one goal of the refactoring is that we need to refine the apis and stabilize the apis of the notation go uh because uh notation go is not just for notation CRI. it's for all the applications that invokes notation go so we need to make sure that notation, the APIs of the notation code is stable and that they are easy to use and, uh, and so on. Yeah, yeah. I, I think on David on that, we can use some ideas from you because you are in Redify meetings some other meetings too, as to what are the workflows the notation Go has to support. I was myopic in my view, I guess so far, but yeah, we can use what use cases does it has to support going forward. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, I mean, I think it's pr predominantly just the, the verification um, workflow. I do know that um, the one that we do have um, a bug on and that I'm not sure, I think it's probably more on the ratify side to refactor, but the, there's a bug in it in terms of the nested signatures um, that's there. And so that is something that, <laughs> um, needs to be figured out there i could i could post a link to it but but yeah we you know we need to be able to verify this like let's say the signature of the s bomb or the other artifacts that are attached not just like the root image right yeah i think we like to debug we like to dive deep into it quicker uh to see if it's a problem on our end or they're interpreting it wrongly uh, is there a post a link? Uh, if it's anything verification related, we should have a look at it quickly. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next item. Um, alpha four release notes. Uh, Payman, you wanted to talk about that? I just kind of reminder, uh, Samia, you to uh, finalize these release notes. As I see, this PR is pending for yes. a long time, and uh, we see a, a few, a few of New comments there. If yeah. we can finalize, finalize it this week and uh, next week, I think uh, we can migrate all of those previous release notes to the website as we are uh, refactoring the notary website. No, I think all of those. So yeah, I go need, ahead. 
So I need some help on that, Raymond. So I was looking at what all we released as part of Alpha 4, and I realized we did not release uh, the uh, notary project repo, the one where the specs are. And uh, do we release, we can just decide not to release the notary project repo with Alpha 4. We can just say Alpha 4 was just declined in the libraries. Is that okay? I agree with that. We just cut Alpha 4 for libraries and the client, CI clients. Okay, if that is the case, then I will make those changes that you have submitted and just push it out. One clarification I need is, so the COSI is support is in the client and libraries both, or it is only in uh, library and not in the client? The COSI support. Yeah, COSI support, uh, I think is a surprise in Alpha 4 and uh, we have uh, an ease of use uh, user experience for people to, for users to sign with Cozy Envelope. I think we, we, we should also highlight uh, this feature in, in the release notes. So maybe we can add it. Okay, but, but so yeah, the answer is you can, you, can, you can pass the dash Cozy option and sign from CLI in Alpha 4. And you have tested that. Yeah, we test it. And uh, you just need to specify a flag. Maybe you don't need to uh, elaborate the detailed yeah, yeah. use. Yeah, I yeah I won't elaborate the details. Okay, this helps. Yeah, and okay. uh, for this release notes, I think uh, you just need to uh, resolve all of all of those comments, and then we can have the first version. Maybe we can uh, continue to modify it and uh, uh, polish it a little yep. bit later. Yeah, I'm just gonna push it uh, here shortly uh, after I fix this. Okay, uh, I think that covers everything. Uh, this one thing, I think, Rakesh, do you wanna, are you expecting any response on the pagination proposal or uh, it's something you can handle offline? Um, yeah, I was expecting a response. Uh, I'm not sure who is looking into that issue from Microsoft side, uh, but um, if there is any disagreement, on my proposal, uh, please comment on that um, issue and we can discuss there. I just put the issue here. That okay, issue. yeah. Yeah, I think it should be, uh, yeah. Damien and I will, uh, will take a look on this. Okay. All right, I have nothing else. I think we're at the bottom. Uh, so regarding the pagination, uh, so in the current uh, uh, distribution spec, uh, uh, we don't support uh, uh, that is reading the refer APIs in the middle. The re for the refer APIs, we uh, anyway, we need to start from the beginning. Although uh, it supports some limited pagination, I didn't get that fully, Rakesh. Did you get that? I didn't get that fully. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, that means uh, for the uh, distribution spec, uh, the refer API does not su support to take a uh, continuation token uh, to its API. Um, this, um, can you link that spec? Uh, because I was also going through the reference APA spec and saw this token. Um, just want to make sure we are talking about the same thing. Um, but we can continue this discussion on the issue as well, if you can res uh, respond there. Sounds good, Shiva. Uh, let me find the, the link for you. Okay.
Okay, I have a hard stop at six um, um, and I need to drop, um, but I will um, take a look at the link, Shive. Um, please post that on the um, issue. Oh, sure, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Rakesh. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Samuel, are you still there? Yes, I can stay for a minute or two, but not too long. Uh, uh, yeah, there's one item related to the beta one release by end of this month. Uh, do you think we, we can uh, change the milestone for those issues uh, in the beta one scope so that we can we can align on that scope? Yes, let's go ahead and mark whatever you think is for beta one. I'll mark it accordingly. Uh, we, I'm still targeting 1031 for beta one, irrespective of all, all this. Let's mark yeah. whatever you want. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Yeah, let's let's do it uh, offline. Okay. Thanks. Anything else? Uh, no, from my side. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, everyone. Bye yeah. now. Yeah. Thanks, Samuel. Enjoy your festival. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks. Bye bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks.